Oh, that would be so much fun in the shirt. Wow, that is awesome. Just starting to freeze up. So freaking cool. Well, boys, we made it through the border. We drove through some terrible stuff from uh, Swift Current to Shaunavan. It was just gross. So the highways look much better now. <laughs> oh, these poor machines. right now we have a very short time here this trip that we will come back for sure with when we have more time just try to get a taste oh look at this guy getting toe, toe strap <laughs> uh oh as I rear end the semi looks like the drive not bad So, <laughs> I don't know if we should unload it at the bottom of the hill or what, but we uh, trailered up pretty far and we got up and, uh, what's your name? Bob. Bob, our good friend Bob here said this is a good place to unload, so he's got a couple doggos here. So uh, he said, yeah, <laughs> not too many times you see a trailer uh, get dragged up there. We kind of skidded the bottom a couple times, so, but we'll get her unloaded and we'll get her uh, backed in here and then we're going to continue on up the trail and uh, get on top of the world trail and do you know how to do that? It's just uh, yeah they're kind of stiff just from the weather um, you can just undo these uh, sharp ones like they have to get all the way undone those ones don't okay we'll get her unloaded
Kowalski. Mrs. Asta. What'd you think? Pretty easy, hey? <laughs> you did awesome. All right. Man, the X3 with that halo locker. Peanuts, making peanuts out of everything so far. Lots of ground clearance, hasn't hit yet. Mrs. Austin's driving like a frickin' champ. She's like, Psh, never done it before, but doesn't matter. No big deal. Sherp's frickin' working frickin' deadly. We've got the tires aired down a little bit now. It's making these little ledges just, these big tires are just ballooning right over everything. So it's working really great. We're gonna keep on going. We're in third gear. These giant tires, uh, they really roll over all the uh, smaller ledges really nice. They just soak it up. And we're, uh, we're still at like 90 millimeters of mercury, so we're at about 2 PSI, which three, 3 PSI is max, so we're like 3 quarters of max pressure still. So we can air down way more if we have to. So I'll show you what the key to the Sherp success is in most situations, definitely in swamp and water, but it's also working here too. Just the size of the tires. I don't know if you guys can see this very good. Like you got a really, really decent hole that would swallow probably, you know, a 37 or even a 40. You definitely still make it, but, but having a five foot tall tire <laughs> that can balloon out like crazy, like it's the whole key to its success for sure like you can just beetle up that stuff like freaking no problem even like back here you no know, it's like again really whoa, really decent step up put the tire right in that hole and just being such a big big balloon of a tire it just no trouble so i think we're almost at the top so we're gonna keep going. Yeah, I know it's kind of kind of tall. Where I parked, I can pull up ahead. It'll be easier. 
easier to get in. If it's hard to tell that's quite a ledge I'd say that's a good I don't know three feet up to kind of mid mid thigh hopefully it came through on video <laughs> I'm telling you man I've done stuff doing stuff in the Sherpa I have never ever done before so that's quite a freaking angry ledge and man it seemed to walk up pretty good I'm not sure if it uh, pulled the front tire up or whatever you know the Sherpa it, it's uh it's solid there's no sort of articulation it relies on basically all your tires to soak up and squish down and <laughs> keep you sort of level. But I thought that was a pretty wicked obstacle and, uh, and it went out, went up it pretty freaking easy. So right on boys, we'll carry on. Camera. That's scary. There's a really gnarly deep hole here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, 
is uh, the Sherpa steers on, on skid steering, so it relies on, you know, on breaking one side and the other side driving it around, so I wasn't sure how good it was gonna work in super, super high traction, but man, it has been flawless. It has been working so great. So that's all I was kind of concerned about. Well, I was also concerned about how it would be uh, climbing steep inclines, but so far that seems really great too. So everything's going super great. Woo. This is a... Oh. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to drive a little bit further, but... <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Oh! Careful, that is the edge edge. Careful. <laughs> oh my god, careful. You're freaking me out. Holy! Can't oh. believe you just did that. Why? Like you were right at the edge. It's not gonna fall. She is right at the edge. There's like 2,000 foot drop and she just looked over the edge. No fear of this lady. <laughs> Gotta get the shot. <laughs> oh my God, guys, we made it. Top of the world. We're gonna do some drone shots for you. We're gonna inch the Sherp a little bit closer here. Mrs. Austin's gotta get out of the way though. <laughs> oh, get away from that edge, man. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Jeepers. Careful. God, that is the edge. <laughs> Careful. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna come over there. That's good. You can go a little bit more. Just be careful, don't roll forward. Okay, er, well. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll We're get the pump, drone. Pump the tires up. Are they look pretty flat? No. They're good? Yep. Okay. Grab the drone. Oh. You just said, oh, that's the edge, and then you went and jumped out like it was no big deal. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Look at insane. right to your right. Look how pretty. There's like these red peaks. I know. It's like freaking gorgeous. I don't know if the camera like, even it, does this justice. Do you think that's high enough for people to base jump? I don't think so, hey? I don't know. No. Crazy. 
could probably hang glide though. I think if you hang, like look at that trail going through there, Carrie. It's like a perfect road through there. Oh yeah. There's people over there. Right yeah. There. Carrie, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> like amazing. Wow. <sighs> I don't really want to go too much closer <laughs> to the edge. <laughs> She's uh no safety fence up here, that's for sure, boys. Crazy, eh? So, we still had a few feet of real estate to go with the shirt, but I don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> So worth the drive up, it isn't even funny. Just like freaking gorgeous, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Jeez, that is a sheer drop. Is there another video? No. Okay, we gotta get out of here. These guys came up in a forerunner and they're waiting. What did you guys think of the Sherp going up there? I have never done anything like that. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> it seemed to work pretty good, so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's all those uh, like hollows, the tires are so freaking big, it just. Uh -huh. Boink right up, no yeah. problem. So, I don't know how it'd be if it was a, a, a lot more steeper. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. All right, have a good trip down. Yeah. It totally feels stable, <laughs> even though we got quite a bit of air under that tire. I just wanted to stop and take a picture. I don't feel stable. No. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a drop. So we're on our way back down. Head it down, pick up the X3, and get loaded up and get the heck out of here. boys we're all loaded up it's uh four o'clock so i think we're out of time to go hit another trail today so uh we'll go back to the hotel and do some uh researching and uh see if there's something we can hit in the morning something that's only a couple hours on the way to kansas see if there's anything that works out and because i sure would like to try the shrimp some more it works so dang good today too bad about the x3 man it was like doing so good Mrs. Austin was frickin' crawling everything. And then we had a broken axle. But crap happens, right? You're when you're off-road. It always, you know, something always happens. So can't get too uh, cheesed off about it. Crap happens. It did great up until then. So, so all right, we're just gonna get uh, frickin' uh, everything strapped down. Everything's good. Time to hop in the truck and get some miles back to Moab. It's one of those places where you just gotta stop for a photo. Beautiful river right there. Look at the size of this rock. I wonder when that rolled down. <laughs> rolled down there maybe a thousand years ago. Who knows? That is a giant rock. Freaking beautiful. Stop, check the straps. Everything's good. Let's get cruising. Oops, so let's go when I hear them. Yeah, these are the guys.
these are the original 4x4s, so we'll give them lots of room. Their little trail leader there, she stayed in the middle of the road like, oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> look at her. What is she, is she waving or saying stop? So. Hopefully waving. Man, there's all sorts of people. Kids, hey, everyone, cool, awesome. Yeah, that's the original all-terrain vehicle right there, man. Awesome. This car didn't even slow down. There's freaking cows. One just walked across the road. Look, look at this guy. He's gonna go. Holy fatzos. She, maybe she's prego. She might be preggers. Yeah, they're so shiny. Me, me. I know how to talk to cows. We had, we had cattle when we were. Oh, uh, do you want to feed the cows? We used to have cows and I could talk to them all the time. You just gotta act like a little injured calf. And they'd always come to you. <laughs> yeah, it worked, man. I'm telling you. I was like the cow whisperer. Freaking beautiful, man. The sun is setting. God, this I can't get over how beautiful this whole area is. Freaking gorgeous.